you have common sense if you notice there's a world around do not if you are thinking you can do whatever you want to do there is only one thing that i know is true about existence you may think that it's common it's not so common sense that we're dealing with oh hello there hi sky yeah anonymous writes in my junior year of high school, this guy asked me on a date. He rented a Redbox movie and made a pizza. We were watching the movie, and the oven beeped, so the pizza was done. He locked, he locked, he looked me dead in the <laughs> eye and said, Oh, no. This is the worst part. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Oh, no. She then watched this boy open the oven and pull the pizza out with his bare hands Rack oh, and all, him. rack somebody and all, help him. Somebody help him. screaming at the top of his lungs. We never had a second date. Aww. So my my question to you is: first of all, would that be a deal breaker for you? On, like, would you have a second date? I at that point would feel obligated to protect that man at all costs. Uh, <laughs> It's what I want to know is if he is this age, old enough to date, how has he, how does he, how does he not know this? You he's the reason. Would, he's the reason. There's warning labels on everything. Yeah. You would be surprised. You would be surprised at how many people are like that in the world. And what's even scarier is how many of them would be in counter a counterpart to him as, as they would be the same you would be like, oh my god, I do the same thing. Like, something stupid. Like, it would just be two stupid people. Instead of that person being like, all right, let me teach you a little something. <laughs> you poor dumbass. Yeah. And if he's a piece of shit, then I'd be like, all right, no, you figure it out. Have fun with natural selection. But if he's, like, a genuinely nice person, like, help the guy out. I just don't know. I mean, your first question is, what's wrong with you, right? <laughs> you what is wrong with you? Why would you do that? In any <laughs> capacity, what would make you not? This is the worst part, meaning... <laughs> meaning done he's done before. this multiple times. Has he never... Like, like, does he live under a rock? That's what like, I'm saying. Has he not watched TV? The human or... race continues to shock me you know every what it is? day. Here's here's the kicker. Here's what the thing is. So you know how everything is now on the internet, right? There's just the dawn of the internet. Kids nowadays, all they're doing is just going straight from like school or whatever and straight to like a tablet or the internet. They're and they get, you know, ads removed. So there are no ads. They have no idea what any of these products in the world do. Where we were growing up, we were forced to watch fucking commercials where we learned, oh, oven mitts. They're on sale at JC Penny. What are those for? Huh? <laughs> so like or, we had a little bit of a chance. You know what else we used? <laughs> Our parents. Common yeah, they sense. Taught us, they taught us right. Why not a dish chat? Why not like even when I don't have an oven mitt, like I'll I'll grab like my my sleeves from like my hoodie or something. Yeah, like, anything. Just something. A, a fold a paper towel bunch. <laughs> Just anything. That you can use. I, I will uh, never understand it. But how you doing, Sky? Did you have a good week? Anything fun and exciting happen to you? We see you all out there, by the way, in our live chat. Much love to you guys for being here. If you're listening to us on the podcast while you're on your way down the road. Look out. There's a bird. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, but yeah, bird. Sky, did you have anything exciting this week? Anything noteworthy happen? I feel like this week it just came so fast giggity that it was just like that that monday threw me off the monday nascar thing and us like moving everything a day like that that weekend threw me off so i would just like to point week. out that since we returned every episode we have mentioned nascar so <laughs> if they don't reach out to us and like sponsor us or something yeah because uh, we're bringing we're bringing two Madhead. two two to three people to NASCAR here. 
That's a lot. That's, that's a, a lot of percentage. views. That's a lot that's a huge of percentage. Okay. Yeah. Especially with all the apps that they have to buy in order to just watch a fucking race. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Listen, uh, this is this goes beyond NASCAR. This is all sports. This is everything. Where they're like, okay, you're gonna watch I'm I'm surprised the super hole super hole. <laughs> 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 Name of Sky Sec tape for five hundred. <laughs> <Da, da>, <laughs> I'm going to put a little cape on her. <laughs> uh, well, we already know the title of this episode. Sky's Super Hole. <laughs> That's the quickest we've gotten a title for an episode, I believe. But, uh, <laughs> We're great start. but I'm surprised funny. the Super Bowl hasn't been like okay we're gonna watch the first half in on nbc <laughs> and the second half on fox <laughs> but the halftime show is gonna be <laughs> you know fox sports <laughs> two and a half it's gonna be on espn it's gonna be fox. on el telemundo <laughs> mundo how do you say that M- mundo mundo i think well, mundo is like mundo. the name uh, is the name of somebody telemundo i don't know Telemundo. but it's getting mundo ridiculous where you have to, like why is it so hard to just watch know. something these days? This is why I said it. Like, just, hey, guys, can can y'all just all join hands? Every one of you fucking people who own broadcasting bullshit, just, just all come together and just take an equal share. I will literally pay one fucking price to watch everything on one channel for the rest of my life. Why is that hard? Let me check. Let me pick. What do I want to watch today? A sport? Okay. Let me pick a sport. Okay. Click the button. I'm watching it. Why do I got to? All right. Let me sign out of this. Let me sign into this. Let me pay for this one. I got to get it on this app. I got to go. Just give me one, one, one thing, one thing. We only need one thing. My question is why don't these sports, why doesn't NASCAR, for example, just have the NASCAR network? Every race is on that network. Just have the NASCAR network. Everybody that's a NASCAR fan can subscribe to it for each year. And bam. I don't... Money. I feel like at the end of the day, like... I feel like you would make more money that way. I I beg to differ. I beg to differ. I feel like they would get more money in exclusively having it done on other networks where they can get more ad revenue and things like that. Um... Because they're better known networks. There's yeah. more there's more pull, there's more commercials, there's more out there's more for them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I mean I guess gonna, with ads, I, but like they could have ads on their own network and the commercials they on their could, own networks. But you gotta you gotta think about like how many people that watch NASCAR and then from that percentage, how many people would actually purchase it versus the people who already are committed to just Fox in general and the other networks in general because of the brand that well, they've already the made. Thing. If all of these sports and stuff start doing that, doing that, making their own, the NFL network, uh, yeah. the NBA network, if they start doing that, we're not going to need Fox and NBC and all those things. Nobody's going to oh, have them. I, I agree with you, but no one's going to no one's going to want to lead that charge and take that big of a hit. Well, I'm leading. I'm leading it. The Not So Common Sense Network <laughs> has started NSCS and exactly. NSCS2. We won't talk about what's on NSCS2, <laughs> but it's a good time, let me tell you. There's some pillow talk involved. Yeah. But, but yeah, did you have any uh, – the, the NASCAR race was a day late this past week, and it kind of have just has thrown us off. We're, we're big into NASCAR. Uh, I am, and you're getting into it, I think. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. But it was a day late because of rain this past week, and it just threw off the whole week for me. I think I'm still struggling. <laughs> Same, honestly. I, I, I know today's Monday, but like it feels like it's Sunday. Yeah, see, I feel like something is wrong. Something yeah. is very, very wrong. <laughs> yeah, it's it's strange, though, that things, something like that can literally make... It's just... You tell time now by things like that. That's how mm-hmm. people tell, oh, my show's on this Sunday at whatever. Oh, the race yeah, is on this we- Sunday. So that's, you know. What do we do about that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they have calendars for a reason. So I know, but we're, we live in a digital age where nobody looks at that stuff. It's like, I, I just need a 
an alarm on my phone that just pops up. Hey, idiot, it's Monday. But it does say it. Like when you press on your phone, it's like on the home screen. I know, but I don't look at that. I need it to yell at that. I I need my alarm to be just the (laughs) name of the week just being yelled out over and over and over and over. (laughs) You can you can totally do that. You could probably set that up. <laughs> I have so many amazing ideas for apps. So do many, you? but I do not know how to make apps, and it really, it really burns my toast. You know what I mean? I'm not. That's on you though, because there's literally an internet that can. Make I, you know, the answer. I know. I so know, but I don't want really to do to the work. I'm the idea guy. Well, I'll give you the idea, and then you make the app, and then we'll both be rich. Like, that's all I'm trying to do. <laughs> so many good ideas for apps. I just don't know anybody that makes apps. So, if there's anybody out there that makes apps, reach out to me, and <laughs> we'll talk. Because I think every day, I think every day I have a new idea for an app. Something that comes then, like, up in my life. I kind of feel like if that's the case, the more beneficial it would be for you to be the one to figure it out i'll never do it though i know me i just i know me that's not where my expertise lies now if you could put all of your expertise together in one giant pool like what what kind of profession would that give you (laughs) what kind where would you be what would you be doing uh i'd probably be homeless (laughs) <laughs> well, <laughs> but ambitions. Are you saying like where would I want it to go? Is that what you're asking? Like what? Yeah, because like okay, so for example, if you weren't like if you weren't whatever it is that's stopping you from fucking going on to YouTube and listening to a 15 minute video to figure out how to do this, like I'm not gonna learn how to make an app in 15 minutes. Let's just be honest. I'm gonna have. To. I'm not even gonna be able to watch a 15 minute video in 15 minutes. <laughs> I'm not. It's going to take me an hour just to even remotely understand the 15-minute video. (laughs) And there's wherein lies the problem, is my attention span towards things that I don't care about, because I don't care about the technical aspects of it. I'm just like, hey, I got an idea where people with these types of dogs can get on a dating app and date other people with the same types of dogs so they can get along and make friends. Like, boom. Doggy style. There's an app. <laughs> That's a great name. There's an app. Literally just came up with that two seconds ago. <laughs> Bam. There's where my strength lies. <laughs> Doggy style. Can we go back? Mm-hmm. But like, see, that's the thing. Like, yeah, you don't have to care about the technical size. I was asking you to care about it. We're just asking you to just that's the Learn thing. I don't want to do the it. things that I don't care about. I want to put all my energy towards the things that I do care about. But it'll like eventually pay off where you can do even more of the things that you care about. By like stopping that one little obstacle, then you can like eventually like, all right, now I can just fucking pay people to fucking make the apps and I'm going to go fuck off. Like, here's my idea. Make this app, make me some money. All right, I'm going to go fuck off now. And, like, you could have been so far advanced by now if you just took that one 15-minute video I'd still be working on the first project. (laughs) I'd still be... Just like with our our podcast, honestly, I'm about to just take out a loan and hire a social media manager. (laughs) (laughs) Because I couldn't care any less about social media. I couldn't. Could not care any less about it. But I know that's that's what you got to do. That's the, the world we live in. That's the times. And mm-hmm. I'm just so bad at it. I mean, I don't think. And I would rather put my energy into making, creating the content than do the backside stuff. You know what I mean? I, yeah. As, as uh, an actor, I, I want to do the scene. <laughs> and then let the editor and director do the rest. You know what I mean? I, I Yeah. 
you edit the video, you do this and that. I have my job as the actor. You have your job as the editor, director, social media people. Like I, that's all I want to do. I don't. I'm not trying to do all of that stuff. I want to. I mean, nobody the creative is. Side. Nobody is. But okay. Well, let there, me rephrase it. I'm gotta... not. I'm not driven enough to do that. My when I'm sitting there working on that, I'm going to be thinking of 13 other app ideas. <laughs> And that's why you write them down. Then you get on to the next one. And then you get on to the next one. And then you, that just means that you have a lot of time that you can expend on all those ideas. Literally, what else are you doing? I don't know. We're coming up with great apps like Doggy Style. <laughs> if Doggy Style is the best name for a dating app, I don't know what is. It sounds like either a lazy problem or a. It's not lazy. What is it? Because the, the drive and energy, uh, the, the want to do the things is there. It's just the, it's the technical boring stuff that my mind just can't wrap itself around. Mm-hmm. I just, I'll fall asleep while I'm in the <laughs> middle of doing it. I don't know what it is. I just go into this, like, depressive state or something where I'm just That's like, how I, I am with I art. That's like literally, this. that's that's me with art. That's literally me when I have to draw a picture of anything. And you're like, I don't understand. I'm like, what you're, what you're describing to me, that is that is how I'm going to tell you to understand that feeling. Because mm-hmm. I hate it. I hate it with every fiber of my being. I hate drawing. I know everyone's like, how could you hate drawing? Listen, I haven't been able to color within the fucking lines since kindergarten. And I still can't. It's stressful for somebody like me who has OCD where things need to be fucking perfect. And it just is overwhelming. <laughs> what do you think con- contributes to? Contributes or contributes? What's the, <laughs> it's contributes. What's the, how do you, what was that word I couldn't say the other day? Villain. How do you spell Villain. <laughs> Belaine. Belaine, I was calling it. So That was great. <laughs> anyway, what do you think contributes to you not being able to color in the lines? I shake. Oh. I shake a lot. I shake all the time. Is like, it because of the meth? Still. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do meth, people. She doesn't do meth, folks. <laughs> Jokes, know, how do you, people. How do you even do meth? What's, is that you smoke it? Is that I always went into school, it? and I think it was like third period for me. That I'd go and sit at a table, and some dude would get up on the board and draw numbers. I don't know. That's, that was math for me. I'm done with you. Yeah, that's fair. You know what I'm done with? What? I'm done with letting dentists talk to me while their hands are in my mouth. Bro, How about we talk about why. that for a second? Why? I think they do it on purpose. I was you, literally at the dentist this I know. last week. You went to the dentist. That's what kind of brings brings me to this. And did he do that to you or she? He. And he. I give him credit because he really genuinely tried not to. And, like, you can tell that he catches himself doing it because he'd be like, so let me. <laughs> so it just kind of. <laughs> kind of trails off with this thought mm-hmm. and then like when he like pulls his hands away then he'll like finish the question or finish like whatever he is like trying to say to me yeah the whole time i'm just like i listen to music i can't i don't i don't i don't like the feeling i have sensitive teeth so like the feeling of the drills on my teeth i just not for me see so i have literally just I have, in my own world i have big beaver teeth so it doesn't really bother me yeah. <laughs> just like big thick teeth i don't know i could chew down a tree and uh but i don't you know what i don't do well with is the because you can't let the stuff you're not supposed to let the liquid go down your throat right i don't think they're like when they're spraying around in your mouth with the with the thing the fire hydrant hose thing (laughs) And they're they doing have. the thing with the thing, yeah. Yeah, and <laughs> you, like all that like liquid builds up on like the back of my mouth at the top of my throat and I can't, I'm not a pro like you. I don't know how to handle that. You know what I mean? And Bro, I just had wicked I <laughs> I get stri- like extreme anxi- anxiety over it. They, I always feel like I'm going to like choke or something. Same. I'm like, I'm going to cough because of this and I'm going, to, he's going to shove that drill right into my tongue. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You know what I mean? 
He's, for some reason, I feel like he's going to get mad at me and just, like, stab me in the eye with it or something, you know? Jesus Christ. <laughs> I just don't know, but I have yet to meet a dentist that didn't want to know my life story. When I, yeah, while immediately. While both hands and other body parts were probably in my mouth. And I don't get it. I will never understand it. Like, it's just, it doesn't make any sense to why I even bother striking up a conversation there. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't make any sense at all to me, but did, so that didn't happen to you, or that that was it, it was did, a decent like, experience. Surprisingly, it was a pretty decent experience when it came to that. Like it, it was, he's. I give him credit for that because he really tries his best to not, you know, like, conversate with you while he's like elbow deep down your throat. That is that's pretty deep. That's, that, no, I don't that think that's me? normal, but you know we don't all have a super hole, so. <laughs> What, what what do I That's say? Fair. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> so it was a pretty normal visit, or, or was it? Was there anything abnormal about it? No, nah, it was pretty normal. Like I didn't realize I was going. I thought it was just for my kid, and they were just like, "Don't forget, you're right after him." And I was like, "Oh no!" Oh no! <laughs> I just ate Brussels sprouts. <laughs> I ate everything. <laughs> I ate all of the things that I wasn't supposed to. But it was just like that six month checkup kind of thing. So they were yeah. just like, he, the, the dentist the whole time was like always telling me like, oh yeah, I'm going to find so-and-so. And I was just like, okay, I was supposed to go for a, a cavity fill apparently. I don't know. I didn't, I don't remember these things. It's not like I have a calendar or something. like it's your own health. <laughs> Who fucking keeps track of dentist appointments? <laughs> Anywho. So I go and sit there and he's like, you don't have a cavity anymore. Like, he was just so confused. I was like, yeah, you know, changed my toothpaste. I don't use anything with fluoride anymore because fuck fluoride. I don't trust that shit. That'd be funny if you had a twin that had, like, really jacked up teeth. And then <laughs> you have, like, really nice teeth. But one visit you send them, and then the next visit you come back and be like, yeah, I've just been brushing my teeth with... <laughs> <laughs> Octopus <laughs> juices. <laughs> no. <laughs> you know something ridiculous. From all that octopus sex I've been watching. <laughs> <laughs> well, folks, that's going to be the end of our show forever. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed it. That's twice. Enjoy my it. dentist, my dentist, as you guys know, I was in L.A. for a long time and now I'm on the East Coast and my dentist from LA uh my dentist from LA <laughs> is still calling me and I've told them multiple times hey I have moved write this down somewhere text it to yourself Give me a fax number. I'll fax you a big piece of paper. <laughs> something. Because they call me every few months being like, we still haven't had you in for your checkup because I moved across the country. So what, it'll be like, uh, we have a next Friday available. What do you mean? You need to start, you need to start hitting them back. Just call them back now every couple weeks and just be like, just, make an just a reminder, every... I moved. Yeah. <laughs> Just a reminder, I fucking moved. Until they just get and, sick of me calling and, and be like, they we got it. Up, and they, yeah, they block you. They're like, get this guy out of our fucking system. Man, that's a that's some like reverse psychology <laughs> on your dentist office. <laughs> Bitches don't even know. Don't play with me, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not the one. <laughs> I'm crazy. <laughs> Well, I'm glad it went good, and uh, especially since it was just, like, sprung on you. You didn't know that it was happening. Yeah, I was, like, fully prepared to just, like, chill and sit at the office and just read a magazine, play a game on my phone, let my kid go through the torture, whatever he does. Mm -hmm. He was just getting his teeth polished, and this kid was just blubbering. He just, he was, like, not having it. <laughs> like you're, It's like it's gel on your teeth, and it's just spinning. On a brush. <laughs> I had a drill in my mouth. Why are you crying? It's not well, fair. Now I have something written down here that I I, I kind of pertains to a dentist. At least 
I feel like it would. Uh, but it's something that you, that you told me that I don't really understand, and I want you to kind of dive deeper into it for me. Mm, but the whole sentence, the whole sentence says, "Dip things into coffee, hot chocolate, and milk." And <laughs> you know, I wasn't funny. sure what the thought process was behind <laughs> that or where that came from, and I'd really like to know. So it was so funny because I put that down there, and I was like, you know what? feel like I should probably explain this one to him, but I I don't think so. So No, I like finding out from you live on the show. I really do. So anytime a, <laughs> something like that pops up, please send it. Because awesome. most of the time I'm like, huh. I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> what she smoked. I, my whole thing is I just wonder like what happened to provoke that thought. You know what I mean? Like what made you think of this? Okay, so the backstory. But yeah. first off, what do you think I mean? I like. I want to know what you genuinely think it means. Well, all right, I think you're saying that you like to dip things into to coffee and hot chocolate and milk. I don't know if you mean like donuts or your titties or what you're talking about, <laughs> but you like to dip something. Your toes, maybe? I, I, no, no, keep the feet away. <laughs> I'm not feet. Is that no, what, okay. am I right? Basically, basically, but like, okay, so I've noticed that a lot of people have this, like, aversion to, like, soggy food, I guess, or whatever. But, like, I've also noticed that there's people like, for example, Cops Chief Wiggum on fucking Simpsons, he dips his donut into the coffee and, like, he, like, eats it. And a lot of people do that. And in my culture, everything, like, literally, if it's bread of any kind of sort, a roll, a donut, a pastry, like... Whatever it is, you literally dip it into the coffee. Like, that's a breakfast thing that you do, and you eat it. So I'm just, like, wondering. I'm like, do you do that? Like, or is that something that you're just like, it's crossing the line? Because to me, it's kind of like shredded wheats, where it's, like, it's still crunchy, but it's still absorbed, like, all of that goodness. Or, like, a, a thrust leche cake. I don't know if you've ever had thrust leches, but... Well, you can't just make up words. I mean, it's a real cake. It's made with three different types of milk. And it's so good. <laughs> so are you talking about just hot drinks or all drinks well, in I, general? I thought about that too. And then I was just like, well, if not something hot, like maybe what's the difference between it being hot and versus like a cookie in like a glass of milk, which people dip, dip cookies yeah. into milk, you know? So like, I don't know if you're just a dipper or not when it comes I to I am like definitely drinks. a dipper. I used <laughs> to dip in junior high school. <laughs> I would get a bag of Oreos every lunch. They had these little mini bag of Oreos. I would get a bag of Oreos, and we got fountain drinks. And I would always get either a Dr. Pepper or a Pepsi. And I would dip the Oreos into the Dr. Pepper or the Pepsi. Or the sounds... mini Oreos. And that sounds like it would be bonkers. I was going to say, that actually kind of sounds good with the Dr. Pepper. I don't know. If, I honestly don't know if I liked the taste or if it was the texture that I liked. I think for me, it's definitely the texture that I really enjoy the most. Mm -hmm. But what brought this whole series of events up is like, I was literally sitting here having just regular plain butter toast. And I'm sitting here and I was like drinking my coffee. I was like, huh. I was like, I've never really, I've done this with like. Hispanic like rolls like because there's like cheese and stuff like there's different like flavored rolls and stuff I've done it with that I was like I've never done this with just toast and I was like I wonder what this is like and I did it and I was like oh this is fucking good and I was like does, do other people do this like is this a known thing I, I I absolutely I do my favorite thing I think to dip in anything is vanilla wafer cookies I like to take mm. two of them and put the flat parts together and then <laughs> dip them into just ice cold milk. Mm. I give it like five to ten seconds in there, and it gets soft, but it's still kind of crunchy. Yeah, it's, oh. it's just it's perfect. Oh, it's, it's like, heaven. Perfect, and I love it because like all of the juices is like still in it, and it's just oh, I just love when things explode in my mouth. Yes, I know how that sounds. I don't care. <laughs> it's just it's it's. I like it. I like it a lot. What's I'm glad I'm not alone. <laughs> what is your favorite? <laughs> sorry, I just had to process all of that. What is your favorite thing to dip into what? Uh, I was literally just Sky. thinking about that. 
Food oh. and drinks. <laughs> Let's keep a PG here. Why? <laughs> Just no fun. Anywho. Um Oh man. Okay, that's tough. Uh, it's gotta be something that's like super absorbent. So probably a pastry. Mm. One that's not like you know what? I take it all back. A croissant in like a hot flavored coffee, like a caramel coffee. So you get that buttery deliciousness from the croissant and like the sweet caramel. So it's like a butter caramel taste. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. I can't do butter in coffee. I actually tried that once. Uh, I believe my grandpa used to put butter in his coffee all the yeah, time. Better than cream. And I tried it once. <laughs> now, did you do butter or did you do margarine? No, I did butter. I just okay. did, but I did like a spoonful of butter. I don't know how much I was supposed to do, yeah, but I don't it do was that much. awful. I couldn't do yeah. it. I couldn't get through. Too much. Yeah, I tried taking like two or three <laughs> sips, and I was just like, "This is this, brutal." That's way too much butter to coffee. Yeah, ratio. I don't know what the ratio was supposed to be. I just, I just started stirring it with a, a stick until the stick butter. was gone, until the stick melted. This butter flavored coffee yeah this is insane <laughs> yeah it's i i rarely dip things into my coffee mostly for me dipping anything is is going to be into cold cold milk yeah i figured as much because I, I feel like not a lot of people dip into hot drinks those little debbie like, i think they're little debbie or hostess or something those little donuts that you can get that are ooh, like yeah. rectangle shaped kind of and yeah they got like frosting on the top kind of frosting so you can see through it but you know what i mean a yeah. glaze i should say oh those are so good especially when it melts yeah. man so we're gonna have I to just... end the show now so i can go eat some <laughs> yeah, we gotta stuff go get some dipped in shit. milk <laughs> not so common sense brought to you by two stoners we appreciate everybody being here I've literally been like obsessed with this lately like literally every piece of like bread or pastry that has come across my table i'm like all right where's my coffee <laughs> i just yeah. want to dip this and see what this one tastes like honey wheat is really good honey wheat with a little bit of jam toasted i don't know that i've had that oh my god it's so good we, like dipped it into a coffee oh my god fucking <laughs> hell man <laughs> I'm discovering new things with bread. <laughs> well, you know, been around a while. <laughs> it has been. I, I love feel bread, like man. Some stuff you could have <laughs> probably tried a long time ago. Well, because everyone tells you bread is bad, carbs are bad, gluten is bad. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I just, I don't care. I love bread. Leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Uh, carbs, uh, no, I'm not even going to go down that road. So <laughs> I want to bring it back to you, <laughs> you, because uh, I'm, listen, I don't know how many carbs are in ice cream, but I've discovered an ice cream that <laughs> I am going to be in trouble with because I don't, I'm not an ice cream person, really. Honestly, I don't eat ice cream very often, but for some reason I was craving ice cream the other day. I don't know if I'm pregnant or what, but. Yeah, I think you might be. Yeah. So I. Bought this ice cream. I was actually, that's a lie. I was craving, you remember the rainbow sherbet? Oh my God. Yes. The orange and green and pink. Oh yes. my God. That's what I was looking for and they didn't have any. What? It's I know. A giant tub. They didn't have like... any at Walmart of wow. all places. They had none. So that's disrespectful. I just looked to see what else they have. And did you know there's so many different flavors of ice cream now? I haven't bought ice yeah. cream in so long that I didn't realize it's a whole. It's I'm, a whole thing. I'm actually, there's this whole thing that people are doing now. Well, I don't know if they're doing it now, but they've been doing it for a while. At least I have. But I used to make like uh, cakes using ice cream, like as like the ingredients with it because it's the milk and the cream and I would use whatever flavor and it would turn that cake into flavor. So I'm literally about to like get a cake and make cake mix and just make a cake with every flavor of ice cream and see which well, one's might the best. Be good. I'd be down to try it. <laughs> I love cake and ice cream. Stuff. A hot cake with cold ice cream melted on it. Ugh. Mm. This whole show is just going to be us making people hungry, I think. <laughs> but, yeah, the More ice food. cream that I discovered that is going to be a problem for me is, and there's something very interesting that happened while eating this. I didn't tell you about it. But something very interesting happened. I was eating banana you split ice cream. I'm going to let you just finish this. 
thought. No, no erections were had. <laughs> okay. Thank but you. That's where you were going. <laughs> yes. But it was <laughs> banana split ice cream, right? Mm-hmm. Didn't even know that was a thing. I love banana splits. And I've always gotten banana splits without pineapple because I don't like pineapple. And the least. Never have. Mm-hmm. But I ate this, pineapple and all, and I've never loved pineapple more than anything in my life <laughs> when I was eating that. Yes! It made no sense yes. to me. Yes, yes, yes. Right yes. now I could be starving yes. on a deserted yes. island, and if you give me pineapple, I'd say no. But if you give me that ice cream, that is the <laughs> best stuff I've ever eaten. <laughs> and it doesn't Your make body. sense to me. Yeah, it makes perfect sense to me because you've had years without it and your body had it. And now your body's like, oh, my God, what is this fruit? <laughs> it was just want it. I've I've never liked the texture or the taste. And for some reason, they were both incredible in that ice cream. Well, some things you just you just got to keep figuring it out until you find the perfect. Has your combination taste buds changed over the years? Oh, drastically. You think that Hopefully. happens to everybody? Yeah, I I would say so. I mean, we got to think about like what we had as kids growing up. There's a lot of things that like I used to eat. For example, I have a huge sweet tooth. I love candies. I love cakes. I love pastries. I love all the goodies. But there's a lot of stuff that like for chocolate is like a huge one where it's so rich for me now that I'm older that like I, even the taste of it is just I'm just like ugh. Like I can't hot chocolates for me are an issue sometimes. So like mm. I get it, which is weird because. It's chocolate. <laughs> See, I could live the rest of my life without chocolate. I'm going to have an issue if something goes wrong with caramel. You, caramel. Yeah, caramel, we'd have a problem. Yeah, I, I love caramel. But you could tell me we ran out of chocolate today and it wouldn't even be that big of a part of my day. <laughs> I would be a little sad about it. I know. It wouldn't, well, it that wouldn't sucks. be anything spectacular to me. I'd just be like, oh. All right, we still got peanut butter and caramel, right? We're good. <laughs> we good. We're fine. But yeah, you're, there's you're... there's very few things that I eat that are chocolate, except lately, my addiction has become <laughs> Hershey's Kisses with almonds, and it's not even the Hershey Kiss that I like. I think it's just the almonds. I should just buy almonds. Yeah, why don't you just buy almonds? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a good answer for you. I just tend to buy the Hershey Kisses with almonds because it's a texture thing. It could be anything. It wouldn't have to be chocolate, but if it had the same texture, it could be flavorless. (laughs) I'd still (laughs) like it, but I do. I don't know. There's something about chocolate-covered nuts that gets me, like goobers. I don't know if you ever (laughs) had goobers. Chocolate-covered peanuts, basically. My favorite candy in all the world. Oh, yeah. I think I have. And that's kind of like They're like peanut M&Ms without the shell. Kind of, yeah. That's a good way to... Yeah. Yeah, that's a really good way to describe them. I've never <laughs> thought of them that way. Interesting. But it's less chocolate, though. It's just like a light coating yeah. around the whole around, peanut. Yeah. And that I, sounds pretty good. Yeah. Is there anything like in particular that has changed for you over the years as far as like food goes? I, I feel like chocolate has been like the biggest That's one the big for me one? that I've noticed. Well, honestly, um, cinnamon, but that was due to my pregnancy. I used to be like allergic to cinnamon. Like it would make me pass the fuck out. Like if I smelled cinnamon, pass out, break out into hives, like my tongue wouldn't swell, which is, which was nice. But like it mm-hmm. just was so much for me. It was like really, really bad for me. Um, And even if I ate it, like anything, didn't matter. <laughs> one day I just. While I was pregnant, uh, the chef at a uh, place I was working at was making cookies. And he was just like, oh, I just made these and I really want everyone to try them. And I didn't even think. I was just pregnant and hungry. And so I was like, yeah, sure, give me. And I just like ate like a handful of them. And I was like, these are really, really good. And mm-hmm. he's just like, I was like, I asked him what was in it. And the first thing out of his mind, he's like, well, there's a lot of cinnamon in it. And I was like, <laughs> trying to get it out of my mouth as fast as I possibly could. How's that sound good again? reaction. <laughs> Nailed it. More sound effects from Sky. We're going to have a whole like, segment called Sky's Sound Effects and Super Holes. <laughs> 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 
But uh, so, uh, yeah, I've got this ice cream. It's going to be a problem for me. And I was kind of afraid to buy it. The only reason I bought this ice cream is because when I checked it under the lid and it had the seal on it. Because did you see the prank where people are going around opening ice cream in grocery stores and just licking the ice cream and then putting the lid back on it? Because none of them have like seals on them. They're just lids that you can pull off and put back on. Oh, no. People do that. They go what? through and they what? just what? lick. What? Why? 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 Because, Why? Because they're miserable human beings. I can't think of any other reason. What? And that's, we were talking about pranks before the show, and that's a prank that, it's a little out of hand, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit, like. What if you have something that's contagious? You may not even know it. You know what I mean? For real. Like, Either way, know. though, it's just gross. Yeah. Oh. Uh. I don't want. I don't want ice cream that Tammy licked. You know what I mean? Makes, <laughs> you know, and that makes me so nervous about like literally everything at a grocery store. Every time I go down to the grocery store and I get like the produce or everything, I try my best to get like a piece or something that like okay, I don't think anybody has been in this section. <laughs> mm-hmm. Because I don't know where people like people sneeze in their hands or like scratching their right. asses, like shifting their balls. Like, yeah, it's I, all it's all gross. I, I don't. It's all gross. Oh. I would if I wasn't too lazy, I would just start a garden. I was gonna say have my own little farm. <laughs> we just have my own little farm in my backyard and <laughs> never never go life. into public again. <laughs> just ever again. <laughs> but we nasty y'all. But. <laughs> We were talking about pranks, and you don't like them. I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not a fan of them. I'm all. with you. I'm with you. I think pranks, for the most part, are what's the word? Uh, stupid. <laughs> there are yeah. harmless pranks that we. I, I genuinely think there are harmless pranks out there. But if your prank involves scaring somebody, if your prank involves physically doing anything to anybody, if your prank involves emotionally scaring somebody or hurting them, these are not good pranks. This is you being an asshole. Yeah. Like, I don't... And that's where I, I think pranks. When I think prank, like, it's, it's usually... A jump scare or somebody just trying to rile somebody up for like their own pleasure and i just like it's like almost like a surprise kind of but just a, always a really bad one <laughs> like just and like very few times there are really like funny pranks that people do but for the most part like i can't i can't my kid likes to play pranks all the time and i keep telling him like please don't play pranks on me like if there's one thing i just i can't do i just just not on me yeah. Not just, just don't like he'll, he used to like hide behind the door and like jump out at you and scare you. And I used to have to tell mom, like, you don't know mommy's reaction. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Please don't do that because I love you. <laughs> <laughs> That's another thing. Like you, I've had friends like run up on me before, like in public places or whatever, I'd be walking, it could be nighttime and I'd be leaving a, a high school basketball game or something when I was in high school and somebody would like run up to like jump on my back or something. There's a chance that I'm going to turn around and punch you. As you, you jump care. on me, there's a chance that you're going to get hit. And people don't think that way. They just no. think, oh, it'd be funny to go up and do that. Okay, well, when I turn around and knock your teeth out, then... You're going to be mad at me. Exactly. And I didn't, I didn't do anything. You, you, the one that like startled me, but yeah, I don't know. There's like, the okay. Pranking so has, have you seen these prank accounts on TikTok and stuff? Yeah. I these don't couples like that prank each other, quote unquote prank. It's all, it's all scripted and fake, but yeah. some of it is horrible. But I saw yeah, a, prank. a lot of those I don't like when they're like the couples are doing it to each other. Like I'm like, okay, great, that's scripted and all, but like some of them go a little too far. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I agree, and I know we sound like the fun police over here, but <laughs> I think people also just need to think a little before they act. Uh, 
I'm not saying don't have fun. Just saying, use your brain. Have some common sense. But yeah. this prank that I saw, I saw a prank on TikTok that it just, it rubbed me the wrong way. And I did <laughs> not like it. And I'm a single man. This shouldn't, I should have been like, ah, this is hilarious. But, <laughs> but my brain immediately goes to the effect it has on the other person. That's an, I think I'm just overly empathetic. So it's not I a bad thing. Eh, for me it is. I hate it. <laughs> I want to be an asshole. I want to not care. But I do. So that's my life. But <laughs> I saw a prank where a guy was throwing hair ties, women's hair ties in the floorboards of the the trucks and vehicles of his co his male coworkers that were married or in relationships. Okay, I get what you're trying to do, but do you realize you could be breaking up families? Yep. Over something I, that simple? Yep. But it was funny. It was funny. Oh, you <laughs> shouldn't take it so serious. It was fun. It doesn't matter. You just you just created if there wasn't already any kind of mistrust, you just created a mistrust in that relationship. Yep. Because what woman isn't going to see that and be like, "Who the who, fuck was in who this was, car?" Who was, yeah, what what normal is person is isn't going to be suspicious? And who's going to yeah. believe you? Who's going to believe? I don't know where it came from. Who's going to believe yeah. you? <laughs> you know, it's so messed up. People just don't think. And it blows my mind. <laughs> Honestly, like, and, and shit like that, because, like, I grew up with a lot of guy friends, so I know they play stupid pranks like that all the time on their other guy friends in hopes that they get them in trouble with their girls because they want their boy back. <laughs> like, right. Yeah, <laughs> that's like, another thing. Just, that's messed up. I know. Like, they try to break them up because they want their boy back, and they were just like, you're just one of the boys, and you just fucked up and got hooked up with some chick but whatever that's another story <laughs> <laughs> but yep. like i i knew how i know how they are so a lot of times when i used to date guys and like i would see stuff like that mm -hmm. i would always ask them and give them the benefit of the doubt yeah and i think that was a lot of like my issue too because i've always been cheated on so <laughs> yeah. i think yay but like i would always say like okay like let's rationalize what this is due like what's going on here what's the situation why you would like here's your out like if it is then all right this is a good way for me to find out let's just fucking go our separate ways yada 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 but there was always like no 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 mm -hmm. and usually most of the time about 90 percent of the time was one of their boys playing a prank because we would all hang out again and they'd be like oh did you see what i did in your car the other day i'm like you're a piece of shit yeah like <laughs> what the fuck okay dude? like a harmless prank i think that that's I mean, it's harmless depending on the situation. If somebody's like in a big hurry or something and you, mm -hmm. you got to go, it could be. But a, a harmless prank that the seniors did in my high school was they, they wrapped saran wrap around the car, one of our buddies' cars. <laughs> we used to do that too. And then they like, they like painted stuff on the saran wrap or whatever. So it looked like their car had been graffitied. Yeah. One time, this actually happened to me. I came out and somebody had put post-it notes, <laughs> literally covering my entire truck. Jesus Christ! The, I had to go through and take off like a ton of post-it notes, but it was funny. You know what I mean? To me, yeah. that was harmless. Because uh, even if I would have had to just get in and go, like in a hurry or something, it still would have been kind of funny. <laughs> I'm just driving down the road with all these post-it notes on my truck, but. Yeah, I don't know. There's harmless pranks, and then there's there's pranks like that, and and I just think people need to think more before they they do these things. I know, and especially like a lot of other people too. Like going beyond pranks is trying to make certain type of like clickbaity content like out in public. Mm. For example, like the one um, I think I sent it to you where there was a, a woman just standing there with a skirt, and she was I guess waiting to cross the street or something. She was just standing there, and a guy comes up behind her. And takes his phone, puts it underneath, and then snaps a picture or what it seems mm, like. Yeah. And another guy, like this big brog dude, just comes out of nowhere, kicks the phone out of the dude's hand, and just punches him right in the nose. And like the woman turns around, she's like, no, and points at the other camera because it's all a setup, trying to explain to him, like, no, 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 it was set up. Like, this is this is all fake. Like, 
be careful because there's other people who are like, I think bravo to that guy. I, I commend that guy. Like, awesome. Thank you for standing up for that random woman that you had no idea about. That she was just about to get her shit like plastered all over the fucking internet. He didn't know. Like, <laughs> well, in that case, but, that's where the again the natural selection comes in. You he deserved to get punched in the face. Yeah, like, what? Well, because why? Why would you do this stuff in public around people that don't know that it's happening? They want to get that reaction. Yeah. Like. Now, okay, <laughs> harmless pranks, I think, are things like Impractical Jokers. I love the stuff that they do. It's cringy. It's hard. It's not cringy. It's embarrassing. Yeah. The secondhand embarrassment is is real on that show. But, <laughs> it's so bad. Yeah, there's there's some episodes I just can't watch, and I've tried. <laughs> and I don't get embarrassed. For me, I don't. if it was me in the situation, I could do it no problem. But for other people... I just, yeah. I, I can feel their embarrassment. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I so, mean, I don't know. I feel like there are, you know, harmless pranks out there. And there's some really stupid pranks out there. If you've ever been pranked or pulled a prank that you think is harmless or funny, let us know. Because I want to I wanna know what kind of pranks are out there that people do that, yeah. that don't cause trauma <laughs> to somebody. <laughs> trauma or pain or... Anything yeah. bad. They should only be funny, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Just... All right, Sky, before we head out of here, I got one question for you. Mm -hmm. It's a hypothetical. Would mm. you rather it always be daytime or always be nighttime? Oh, man. Now, what kind of daytime are we talking? Like bright fucking sun in the, 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 the highest point of the sky? Sure. No. Oh man. Hmm. I'm going with. Ah, I hate you so much for this question. <laughs> I know what you're picking. Hundred <laughs> percent. I know what you're picking. Yeah. I'm so conflicted. Anybody that knows me knows what I'm picking. I think honestly, I'm 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 a child of the the night. I'm I'm picking the night. I knew that's what you were going to pick. I don't know why. <laughs> I just had a feeling. I almost went for sun, but I was just like, I need, I need the darkness. I need, here's I need to my, go into my hermit. Like, here's my my argument to that, though. Mm -hmm. Just get a room with no windows. <laughs> <laughs> but that's dangerous. What if there's a fire and I can't you will be escape? Fine. Okay, I cover the windows. <laughs> they have blackout blinds now. Cover them. <laughs> Put blankets and towels up. Whatever you got to do, you can make don't a dark room. You turn on the light, then. I don't. Yeah, but that's not, not the same, same as the sun. It's not the same at all. <laughs> but what about the moon? I don't. I didn't care any less. The moon is important. <laughs> I know it's important, but I'm just saying this is a hypothetical where the, anything can happen. <laughs> it's daylight in the noon of day. Every day. <laughs> for the rest of your life, Sky? Like darkness for the rest of your life? Dark like my soul. You don't have to press it. I couldn't even live in Seattle for a week because it's gray skies. <laughs> darkness for a week? I would last maybe... No, forever. I mean, for life, I mean, I would last... I, I, I don't know that I'd make it a year. <laughs> I don't think you'd make it a minute. <laughs> I You'd just be couldn't. itching so bad. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know what it is? It's because my whole entire life I lived in I've lived in basements. Like I lived below. Like I've I've lived in things that like I didn't go outside as much as I should have probably because mm -hmm. like my parents are always afraid of the world. <laughs> They're always yeah. like, "Don't go out there. It's scary. People are mean." <laughs> like, so okay. <laughs> gonna stay here <laughs> that's agoraphobia <laughs> guy and you might need to have them looked at for that well They've i don't know treatments. what the fuck they're doing and they're off doing whatever god knows what but <laughs> that was then this is now i just i don't know i'm not a sun person okay not... but you can replicate the dark indoors you can't replicate the sun man fuck the sun <laughs> I lied. We need the sun. It's very important. 
<laughs> okay, we're taking dress. importance out of this. We're taking, we're just taking preference like, on this hypothetical. If we're taking preference, then I just the dark. I just I prefer the dark over the light. You you would. I don't know that we're going to survive this friendship. <laughs> Just the, guys. one of the many things we have to agree to disagree on. <laughs> this is this is the one, guys. This is the one thing that breaks it. This no. is the end of we'll, not so common sense. We'll be <laughs> I'll okay. Get the not so part. You get the common sense part. We'll be okay, <laughs> and I hope we're teaching you guys that you can agree to disagree with people too, because I'm so <laughs> sick of people just having a disagreement with somebody, so they just cut them off. They I mean, they, they are mad at them because like they don't me. think the same way. How dare you? That's what we're not bringing into 2024. I can tell you that right now. I know we're already into February, but the rest of 2024, we're knocking that <laughs> shit off. We did some of it in the beginning parts of February. And we're knocking it off. the rest of the year. <laughs> it's out. It's out of control. <laughs> it is insane. Like, I don't, I just don't, I will never understand that. An opinion is an opinion. Like, that's just all it is. Mm -hmm. People can have takes on whatever they want to have a take on. Uh, Most of the time, opinions are just like, like what we just did, a hypothetical. That isn't even a situation that's real or happening or could happen. Mm -hmm. But people still get mad at it. I just, I will never understand that. It's it's not a big deal, guys. It's not a big deal. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. Well, guys, that's our show. Season 14. Thir season 14. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I just jumped 11 seasons. Guys. We're in the future. That's how many seasons we'll have. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Season 3, episode 14, uh, Sky it's Super Hole <laughs> is in the books. We hope you enjoyed it. Again, we appreciate all the people in the live chat hanging out with us. You guys are oh, not shit. unseen. Is there something I'm forgetting? Yeah, we forgot conspiracies. Oh yeah, well next that'll be next week. We'll do conspiracies okay. and the uh, there's some there's a really good conspiracy we've got next week for you guys. I think you guys will like it. And mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, we'll be back Monday at seven. We're available on TikTok, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all of the social media stuff that I hate. We're available and. <laughs> We can, are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Are you laughing at our live chat? I'm laughing at you. Oh. <laughs> Just social Just, media. Yeah, I all hate it all. Hate. It can all go away, <laughs> honestly. But you can reach us. We are posting questions and stuff in the Facebook page and the Discord channel where you guys can get involved. You can answer questions. We had uh, people answering questions on our Facebook today and they are things that we do plan on talking about on the podcast, so you could be involved, and maybe, who knows, your question or your answer may be read on the podcast. You may be famous mm -hmm. via... Podcast. Podcast. <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> something. Well, that tells me right there that we should end the show. <laughs> Guys, it's been incredible. We appreciate everybody. We will be back next Monday, 7 p.m. Eastern right here on not so underscore common sense live on twitch <laughs> and for all of those listening to us on all the podcast stations it really means a lot we're getting more and more downloads every week and you guys showing continuous support is just incredible amazing before we head out sky anything i am missing no that's all just go visit our socials we'll see you guys in a week that's right and until then everybody one thing to always remember read, read the room, room.